Hello my beautiful bitters, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to do my project A to Z finale for you guys. I, to be honest, I'm just over it. I am excited about the new project that I weaseled my way into and so I'm just wanting to use those products so I want to go through these products, show you where I'm at let you know exactly how many I accomplished and move on because I'm so sick and tired of this. One year is too long. I can handle six monthers or shorter ones, but one year is too long unless it's fun and you're like sitting there drawing new things, you know. I did that one. Um, that was the Project 50 Pan or 100 Pan. I don't, 50 Pan, I think. That was fun. I will do those for my year long and then my project um, now polish for year long that's fun to me but these other ones I'm just I'm so over it and I know that they're wanting to carry on with it a part two for next year and I'm I'm not gonna join in part two but I'll join in some of the smaller ones throughout the year throughout the year so that way I can get excited about it because this just meh. Meh. Okay, so this is the project A to Z. Let's finish this thing out, guys, shall we? So A, amethyst, which is this Laura Mercier amethyst. I feel like I have a hair on my lip. And I did make some more progress, but I did not hit my goal. That's where I'm at. So I made progress. So I'm happy about that, but I did not reach the halfway mark. And to be honest, I'm so done with this. I want to put it aside and work on other colors because I just, meh. Okay, A. So this bottom line is where I'm at. So I made it half. If I would con continue through December, I could probably make it to that goal. But I'm just done. I just want it to, I just want it to be done. Want it to be done. So there's a, this last big line is where I'm at and this little star, it was my goal. So I didn't quite make my goal, but I mean, look at how much project progress I made in this product. That's quite a bit of progress for an eyeshadow stick. So, and I don't wear makeup every single day. I am a stay at home mom. I work from home and I do go out, but with my health being so bad as it is, I haven't been going out as much, so I haven't been wearing makeup as much. This is the least amount of makeup. I've, I've not gone through as much makeup as what I have in like last year. Just because my health has been so bad, I have not been wearing makeup. Ugh. So let's go to B. B. For butter bronzer, my goal was to hit pan. I did not hit pan, but I do have a nice little, I think this was like an air bubble when they pressed the sh the, sh the shadow, the bronzer into the pan. So I think I'm going to be done with this. I think I'm going to put this aside. No way. I think I'll use it through winter, but then I'll pull out my Too Faced sample ones because I would like to get those used up and then I can just go back to this. Because this is my newest bronzer of them, but of the bunch and I don't know why I was using this. Oh, I know why I was using this. The smell was so strong I couldn't handle it. But now that I've used it for a whole year, the smell is not bothering me as much anymore. Just because the, the scent fades. So, yeah. I'm probably just going to, it, since it's so light, I'll probably finish using it out through the winter, but then bring out my Too Faced ones to use instead. C was in my Naked Smoky palette, and this was in the color Combust, which is right here. And my goal was to hit pan, and I hit pan, and I hit sizable pan. So I'm very happy with that. Very, very happy with that. So that was a definite success in my book for that shade. That was a good pick on my part for shades. Okay, so 
I picked one, two, three, four, five colors out of this palette and I only hit pan three out of the five and that's because two of them were just bad picks and I need to remember that in the future. If I'm gonna go through a product, I need to pick the colors that I know that I'll use on a daily basis. Ron's mom sent me a picture of a woodpecker. <laughs> it's okay. She's hilarious and I love it. All right. So D for Dirty Sweet and that was also in the Naked Smoky palette and I this was one that I did not hit pan on. I did make sizable progress. I mean look at that dip that's in this but did not hit pan and that's because these are very hard pressed shadows and they're hard to go through and because I don't wear makeup all the time I just I I didn't make my goal of hitting the pan but I made progress in it so I'm happy with that I'm very happy with that E is for emerald this is another one I did not hit goal on but I did make sizable progress on this and I'm very happy with that this bottom line is where I'm at so that's how much progress I made in this item like if I put this right here the pencil was way up here so for it being a green sh shade I did quite well so again this is a, an instance of me using a color that I don't use all the time so when I do my project pans I need to make sure that I'm picking colors that I will use on the daily or whenever I do makeup that way I can actually hit my goals in these I mean I love wearing this green shade I mean I'm I love popping it in the waterline so there we go with that I have it in my waterline I mean it looks great in my waterline so I just know that I will have to make small goals on that instead of trying to use up a whole pencil. Do like my goal is to hit this mark and make a big mark on it so that way that's my goal and that's what I want to hit. So that's what I need to start doing in the future. Especially with you know the colors that I don't wear all the time, like blues or greens for eyeliners. So F for BFF. And my goal was to hit the halfway mark and I hit the halfway mark so I'm so close to finishing this up so this will probably get rolled on into another project just to finish it up there are all the markings for this so as you can see I made a big dent so yeah very happy with that progress G for gimme brow and this was used up so this one was used up. It was just a sample size. Okay, so the next one is I for It Superhero It Cosmetics Mascara. This was used up. No problem because this takes me about two. This one was, I think, a two-monther because it's a small product. But that one was done. J. Julep in the color Jewels, which is this pink polish, and I finished this one right up. It was no problem, easy peasy. The sample size of the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This one is done. Da dun dun dun. Da dun dun dun. Yes, this was a great product. I will repurchase it. This was good. I liked it. Okay, L. Lumiere in color pop. And that one was the lippy pencil and this was missing forever and I found the baggie that had all these lip products in them so it got shoved in my bookshelf hence why it disappeared for months on end so that's where I left off whoopity doo da day same place as where I was months ago that's all the progress I made so where was I at? L. So I'm at M. Medici nail oil. I do not know what happened to my container, but it was just a little pen container that you twist, much like um, you would a uh, lipstick, 
like a Stila lip glaze. But that one was used up, but I don't know what happened to the product itself. It's somewhere in this house. I'm not too worried about it. But that one was used up. N for, in my Naked Smoky palette for, and I just chose high just because I could pick any one in there because this is in the Naked Smoky palette. Chose this first one right here. And my goal was to hit pan and I hit pan in it. So that goal was met. Oh, for Julep Lip Oil in the color Obsessed. And I hit the halfway mark in this, so I'm going to consider this a success. So that's where I'm at now. I put it next to my bed so I was able to start using it at night. And so I was able to make more progress. And I don't know why I didn't do that to begin with, because if I would have done that to begin with, I would have used up this product by now. Uh, it's not my favorite product. I love their whipped lip products. Love it. They're so amazing. But I'm not a fan of the lip oil. Um, so, But I made it halfway, so I'm going to consider this one a success. Next one is P for Physician's Formula. And this was in the powder, and I used it up, guys. Whoop, whoop. I didn't even need to repress it because while I was swirling it, it was breaking up. So I used it up quite fast. There wasn't much around the edges, but it's completely used up. No more. Yay, 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 yay. Okay, Q for Tristique in Aspen Pine. I chose this one because it has a Q in the name. And I did not use it once from the last month, and that's all I have left. And again, I'm sick and tired of this color, and if I'm going to use these things in the future, I'm not going to be trying to pan a green shade. The star is where I wanted to go to meet my goal. I didn't meet my goal, but, I mean, look at the progress that I did make. I made progress, so I can't complain too much over that. Okay, R for Tease and Heat Wave Ruby. This got lost for a long time. So that's how much I have left, not a whole lot. And the bottom line is where I'm at. I made just a smidgen of progress. So this will get rolled over. I want to use this up because I have so many reds. So I want to get this one used up so I can move on to another one. So now that I found it, I could actually wear it for Christmas. S for slanted in the Naked Smoky palette. And we're slanted. Slanted is this gray shade. And I have a little bit of a dent. This one right here? Yes. This one right here. Little bit of a dent up in here. But did not even remotely hit pan in it. Not even remotely come close to it. So again, that's something that I'm not going to be putting those type of shades in my projects. I will, you know, have this whole thing as a project, but not do individual shades to focus on because I, out of the five that I wanted to focus on, two of them, I didn't hit pan and that's because they're colors that I don't wear all the time. So that's on me. T for 13, and that's in the Naked Smoky palette. And again, I'll show you, but I did hit pan in this one right here. So, insizable pan. So, that one is done. U for ColourPop. Lippy pencil. And that's how much I have left. I have quite a bit left. I'm going to be really focusing on trying to use up my ColourPop lippy pencils in the future. I'll show you the progress. I didn't make a whole lot of progress with this, but progress is progress and I'll take it. V, which is the B Vein lip liner in Sienna, and I used this one up. So that one was a success, thank goodness. W for what's up, and my goal was to hit halfway mark, and I hit the halfway mark. So that's all I have left. This I was using as an eye base for a highlight, everything possible, driving me bonkers. But I'm really, 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 really thankful for the progress. And I know that if I continue using it in 2019, I will finish it. Because I am over the halfway mark now. Look at all those marks, and that's where I'm left 
at is this little bottom line. So I know I can make that much more progress in 2019. So this one will definitely be one that I'll roll over. I'm not totally, I'm, it's driving me bonkers that it's taking me forever. The $7.30 sample is taking me forever to use, but by golly, I'm not going to let it beat me. I'm not. So X for NYX eye pencil in lavender shimmer and that's all I have left so I made a big difference a big dent in this and that one will probably get rolled over because I know I'll be able to finish it off but those are my progress lines so I made quite a bit of progress in that so I'm pretty happy with that for this julep in B B E A and it's in this yellow shade and this one got used up so if I put in polishes I use them up I really do, especially the julep ones. So the last one is Zoya in Sasha. And there's product left in the bottom, but I have used it, but I am done. Because it does not want to dry, even if I dab it on my nails, it will not dry, period. And I live in that life not doing it whatsoever so I'll just do a big line as to where I'm at so you can see from the the silver line to the big black line that I did make more progress but I have you know that much left and I don't know you can see through it but it just won't dry so I'm just considering this to be a success and used up and it's being highlighted off and that's just how I'm doing it. So let me count up. So there's 26 products. Let's see if I hit the halfway mark. If I hit 13, I don't think I did, but now I know I didn't. I think my goal was to hit 10 and I, and I don't think I did it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I surprised myself so I got 16 I'll write the odds in here over 26 so I am three over the halfway mark so I'm gonna consider this a semi success semi success I didn't finish all 26 because I chose wrong shades and plus it doesn't help that I lost products for months so that is everything I hope you guys enjoyed this project A to Z I this is a Panto fantastic ladies collaboration I will list in the description box below all the other people that are doing this so you can keep following them in 2019 but this girl is out I'm done I'm gonna do other projects so thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you guys in my next video.